Hey all, this is I Sneaky Pew Pew. Um, I've been playing Stormworks for a while and I'm really liking it, about five days now. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make a low fuel light, um, especially with the RGB variation because it takes composite, um, which, uh, you know, it's a bit different. Um, so hopefully today I could potentially save you some time if you're watching this video and uh, we'll go through it. I'll show you how to make a, a low fuel light. Um, I can also show you how to make that same light blink. Um, and then we can even do stages. So uh, we do a stage so it's, say, solid white when you're 100% down to 50. Once you hit 50%, uh, you get a slow blink, you know, uh, yellow. And then once you get to about 25 or 10%, whatever you want to configure, you get a, a rapid red blink. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So once you have your... Uh, microcontroller open, you know, just go to new new microcontroller. You got you got a fresh new start here. Um, you're going to want to add your 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 uh, your input, right? Um, I always just uh, label mine. So uh, we'll say uh, low fuel tutorial. <laughs> uh, okay, so I usually do one if I can. Really, for this, all you're going to need is two. You're going to need an input, and then you're going to need an output. So We'll get our nodes together. We want our input to be um, a number. And we can just do uh, number input from gas tank. Cool. All right. We'll add our out, which is going to be a composite, right? Because we're doing an RGB. Look, RGB is going to require you do a composite. And we will say the output to light. Simple as that. It's always good to label these because when you're in the, the logic of it, uh, it's easier to, to reference them. Um, you've got to make sure that you're, obviously, your, your stuff's not overlapping down here. Got enough. And then we can just do, I don't know, I'll just do something real quick. Draw a little light bulb. Cool. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. You can fix that later. That's for you, not for me. Okay, so... You can do a less than, and that's fun, um, if you're just going to do like a light that turns on. Um, but what I've found is that using thresholds is much more efficient, um, because if you're going to add a bunch of different phases, you know, a 100%, 50%, and a 25%, the thresholds, they just work better, you know. Um, so uh, let's, let's actually do that, and uh, let's just get rid of... Okay, so... Now, now you got to convert this number, which is on or this on off, to a, to a, a composite. So the way that we do that is we um, have a composite switch box. So we'll take this composite switch box and we will add it here. It's always a good idea to keep these spaced apart. So you know, linear. If you like it working up and down? That's fine too. Left and right is good for me. Um, and we're going to turn it on. When the number is in this threshold, it's going to turn the signal on, turn the light on, right? So, well, what's it going to send, right? So we don't have anything to send. We just have an on-off here. So we have to have a constant number. So if we wanted a constant number um, for a red light, we just do 1, and we would operate that on channel 1, yeah? How do we select a channel to feed into this composite? Well, we do a write. Oops. A composite write number. That is going to give you your constant value. And then you're going to take the output. You don't need an input here. It's just going to alter whatever the input you put in, right? So we can make one. And feed it right into there, the first signal, on. When it's on, this is going to say when it's on, we're going to send it right to, this is an input, I made a boo-boo. There we go, right to the out signal. Now, red light's going to come on as soon as we hit 90 degrees, or 90, uh, 90. So let's try that out. Okay, red light's going to come on as soon as we uh, hit 90. It's going to send the on signal. It's going to use the number of 1 converted to composite to feed to the composite, okay? 
So let's try it out. I like to take the name here and just copy it. So when I go to save it, there we go. So we will save that. Um, exit out of here. We haven't actually created it. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Low fuel. That's our tutorial there. And we will just put that in the old wear, really. Um, on the side of this engine, probably a good place for it. We can fit it. All right, so we got it there. Got to make sure we're all connected, right? So input from the gas tank. So I got my gas tanks um, daisy chained down here and into this controller. It basically just combines them into a total and then sends it out, right? So we'll send that out to this guy. <clears throat> and then we have to switch over to composite, right? Because we got that composite out and we're going to send that to, we'll send it to both these lights here. All right. And um, that should be good. Well, let's, let's make sure we got power. And we do have power to both of our lights. All right, let's see what happens here. I turn my engine way up so I can burn through fuel as fast as I can. Red light's on. Just that quick. All right, and there you have it. So, <clears throat> now, if we wanted to have this light blink, that is too easy. Really too easy. All you have to do is go and edit this. Go back to the logic editor here. And we can just add a blinker. Whoops. And we'll just pop that in there. And we'll just take this on switch, pass it through a blinker. And you can say, uh, I want it to be on, you know, how about a half second? This is a pretty quick blinker here. Half second on, half second off. Looks good. We'll save it. Update it, and we'll run it. Here we go. Too easy, right? Too easy. All right, so for the third trick, we're going to take and we're going to make stages, as I talked about before. So we're going to start with a white light. You know, we can even start with a green light. Let's do that. Let's start with a green light. And then once we get to 50%, we're going to go yellow. And then once we get to 25%, half that, we're going to do a really fast strobe, red light. And we'll do the, we'll do the middle one, um, the yellow light. We'll, we'll, we'll have a blink on that too, but it'll be a little slower because it's not as dire, right? So um, now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to edit this, um, but not, it's not too complicated. So try to follow along here. So you're going to take all the same components and you're basically just going to duplicate them besides your input, right? So you have your input number. We'll move it down here just so we get out of the way. And we're going to do columns, right, for each light. So let's just take this with our threshold, okay? And actually we can put our threshold down here. Just makes everything more neat. Copy. I'll paste it in here. And let's get rid of this connection. Paste one more. All right. And so what we'll have to do is we'll have to take the constant number and we're going to have to feed each of these the color that we want, red, green, and blue, right? So one being solid red, one being solid green, so on and so forth. What we'll do is we'll change the composite right number here to have a channel count of three. And we'll, we're going to do this for all of them. We'll just move these up. Um, constant number, we'll move them to the side. Give us, give us some more room here. And move the constant number here. So we'll just make three channels for all these, right? And we don't have to, right? Because if you're just going to do red light on one of them, you can really just use the one channel. Um, but just, you know, just so you get a warm and fuzzy and have these if you want to change the colors. So 
or is it going to just have them? Um, so what we'll do here <clears throat> is we're going to feed this constant number of one to our red, our green, and our blue. So there you go. And then I'm actually going to move these over even more. Tight. Kind of picky about my spacing. All right, so, and then we're going to move this to this because red and green make yellow. We don't even need a blue for this one. And we got a value of one, right? And so with this one, move these over. Move this guy over. Um, with this one, we're just going to do red. So we have, it's going to be white. Actually, we said it would be, we said it would be green, didn't we? So we'll just do green. We'll just do the green. And then we're going to do yellow, which is red and green together. And then we have red. Okay. So the way that we're going to tie these together, we can get rid of this blinker because this is our first value. This is our second value. And this is our third value. Now, um, we want to tie the threshold into the switch box. This is going to write, if I hooked this up right now to this, if I was within 0 to 90, this color, this color here, 0 to 90, this color here, is going to go out to this. Too easy, right? Same thing with these. This is going to be your out. This is going to be your out. But you can't take three of these and put them into the same node because the game just doesn't work like that. So we got to figure out a way to kind of tie these in. So first of all, let's configure our blinkers. So our first blinker, let's do every one second. Sound good? Threshold, we got to change the threshold, right? So we want um, 50 to 26. And then for this threshold, we'll do 25, oops, 25 to 0. Sound about right. I actually got these, these numbers backwards. I don't know if it really matters, but let's get it right at least. Um, okay, so we got low threshold 0, 25, low threshold 26, because it's going to pick up where 25 left off, and it's going to hit 50. This one is going to be low threshold 51 to 100. Right, so we got our white 100 to 51, actually green rather. So we have our green here, which is 51 to 100, or 100 to 51 going down. And then at 50, it picks up down to 26. It's going to pick up our yellow, which is our red and our green. And then it's going to pick up our input from our last one, uh, which is going to be red. Um, this is going to blink a lot faster than this one, and this one has no blink at all. So how do we tie these together? So it's actually pretty easy. You just take one and you just boop right into the next one. Boop right into the next one. And then the last one, boop, you're done. That's it. Let's save. Let's update this. Let's give it a go, huh? So, all right, let's see if this works. Oh, I see a green light. See the green light? Okay, hop in here. Green lights on, let's burn through this gas and see what happens. Alright, yellow lights are flashing, it's looking good. And let's see when we hit 25, we're going to go with the flashing red light even quicker this time. There we go. Now, my engine's on fire. Okay, one more thing to do here. We have to figure out how to get an alarm because what fun is a mayday like running out of gas without an alarm right so let's put an alarm in there um let's uh add a speaker okay i've added a speaker down here as you can see uh right there you can configure these with uh warnings i've chosen this one um, I honestly don't think they have the best selection of, of sounds. I'm sure that'll update. We'll update that at some point, but this is the best one I can come up with. Um, so yeah, we got that configured. Um, make sure that it's tied into electricity, which it's not. And we will take a composite signal. No, it doesn't take that. Data signal. Okay, so it's going to receive its buzz on. It's basically going to play that sound when it receives the buzzer on off. So all that we have to do here is we have to add an on-off output to this. So what we're going to do is 
if you're just looking at this, you can see there's definitely some on-off stuff going here. So why not tie our audio to that, yeah? All right, so all we have to do is add an audio out, on-off. Um, it's not really an audio out, just an on-off. So we're going to add it, on-off, output. We'll just say audio out. And we will make sure that we have enough room for it. We got three. No nodes are overlapping. We go into here, and we're going to pull our audio out. But we're going to just tie it into what the blinker's doing. So as soon as that red light comes on, there you go. Going down. All right, so let's save that. Let's update it. And let's see that we connected, whoops, connected our audio out to our speaker. Okay. And then we'll uh, go ahead and spawn this creation and we'll give it a go, yeah? And that's about it for today. <clears throat> um, join me again next time. I'm going to be going over how to set a dead zone and hopefully how to, uh, if you have any uh, issues with balancing a quadcopter like this, um, it was my first creation and uh, something that I uh, worked really hard on. So um, stay tuned for that video and uh, we'll see you next time.